today we're going to be working on my buddy Mike here's uh, 94 Isuzu Trooper and uh, so far it actually has been a trooper however today we're going to be installing a fuel cell because his uh, factory gas tank decided to start leaking fuel um, also in here is uh, Scout Scout what's up bud uh, so we're just going to be going over the process. We've already got the gas tank uh, dropped, uh, aka we took a sawzall to it and cut it out. And uh, here is the fuel cell we're going to be installing, and uh, we're just going to go over the process and show you how it's done. is um, with a fuel injected vehicle you basically have three uh, main hoses that you need to hook up so like I said earlier the sump right here this is where your fuel collects and uh, this is you know obviously this is a drain so this down here is going to go in uh, to the fuel pump and then um, on the other side of the fuel pump that's going to go to the factory fuel line uh, this will just be capped and um, this right here is your return. So, you know, the fuel goes through the fuel pump uh, to the intake on the fuel rail. Uh, the fuel pressure regulator regulates it. And then what it doesn't use, it sends back up to this, back into the tank. This right here is going to be a vent. And um, if you care about the environment, which you should, uh, the vent is going to run from there down here and into the uh, charcoal canister from the factory. Uh, now, if you're working on something older, maybe carbureted, uh, the vent can run just underneath the vehicle and uh, that way you don't have any fumes inside. So what Mike's got going on now is um, underneath here. Sorry, the lighting's not that great. So, and we're going to clean this up right here. This is just kind of a rough cut. Um, definitely got to clean this up. You don't want any sharp edges on, on soft aluminum, uh, which is what the fuel cells made out of. Uh, obviously, you know, it'll wear through it eventually. So he's got his, um, main fuel line here. That's going to go into his fuel pump, uh, which we still have to mount and tie into it. And then there's the three factory fuel lines. You've got your, uh, your, uh, I guess inlet that goes to your fuel rail and then you got your return and then you got your vent. And, um, it's very simple. A lot of people, they get worried when they hear uh, fuel injection or something. Uh, but like I said, it's three hoses, super simple. You can apply this to almost any vehicle. I've been installing these uh, fuel cell systems for years on, uh, you know, everything from mini trucks to old uh, Mercedes and now just, you know, an off-road vehicle. Um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to this setup. Uh, it's a very, very reasonably priced eBay uh, fuel cell. Uh, what was it, like 130 bucks? Uh, 160 ship. So fuel, one fuel lines, fittings, everything you need. 160 ship came with all the AN fittings, uh, your braided fuel line. Wrapping this project up, just gonna go over what was done uh, this morning while I wasn't here. So uh, Mike got his um, return hooked up and vent, uh, and he actually tied that into the factory uh, vent so it goes to the charcoal canister. Here is the um, sending unit wires for the fuel gauge, and what we've what we're doing right here. Um, well, what we've done, we've got to finish, you know, wrapping it up, tree wrapping everything, is uh, we turn the ignition on and, you know, hook 
the wires, the factory wiring up to this aftermarket sending unit to see what the fuel gauge does. And you can do it the, the I guess you would call it scientific way with a multimeter and, you know, read the ohms. But um, this way is just way, way faster. So underneath, he's got his fuel cell or fuel pump mounted. And uh, this is just, you know, a $300 beater. So he didn't use the bracket that I gave him. Just a, this is just a quick install. But he used a hose clamp here to mount the fuel pump. Again, this is off uh, an 87E30. This will work on just about any application. Uh, they have, they move a lot of fuel, uh, high fuel pressure and gallons per hour, and they're in line. And um, there's a common misconception with fuel pumps that, you know, they uh, are regulated. They're regulated at the fuel regulator. A fuel pump has a, a positive and a negative, and that's it. It doesn't vary in voltage or anything like that. It's a, an on off switch, basically. So, this fuel pump will run just about any fuel injected vehicle. So uh, he's got you know the the inlet here going into the fuel pump, and that's tied up or tied into the factory fuel lines up in there. I'm sorry, the lighting is terrible. I'm just doing this quick to wrap it up, and uh, it's running now. There was a small leak; he had to fix the hose clamp. That's why this towel's here, so my house doesn't stink. But yeah, that's it. This is. Uh, Wrapping up the fuel cell install on the $300 beater with a heater.